Right, so we're going to start looking in this video actually at calculating probability. We haven't done that yet. What we've looked at is things that we need to be able to do to be able to calculate probability. For example, counting principles, counting the number of different outcomes of an event. We need to be able to do that to calculate the probability. So we're going to look at a couple of basic ones, okay? So we're going to first of all talk about what does it mean, probability. So there's a formula. So if you have some event, okay? So you say the probability, hold on, like I make the pen thicker. So the probability of something happening, so say the probability of an event, is equal to the number of favorable outcomes, okay? The number of favorable outcomes, which means the number of things that could happen that we want over total outcomes, okay? Now, when I say favorable, favorable means, when you think of pro probability, think of favorable being the things that would have to happen for me to win, I suppose, okay? So favorable means to win. That's one way of thinking about it, okay? This has to go in your notebook. You have to write this down, make sure this, this goes in your notes, as should all the examples and practice problems. The practice problems at the, are at the end and they're not long. Well, let's have a look. So say, for example, we toss a coin. What is the probability of tossing a head? Right, here's the way that you write this. So we say the probability, P for probability, and then we put H in parentheses to represent head, or we could write the word head in the parentheses. This is the notation for probability. You have to write this. This has to be written. So these are simple examples. So on the top goes the number of favorable outcomes, or the number of ways that you could win. So the probability of tossing a head. So tossing a head is winning. Is there any other way I can win? No. So there's only one way I can win if I toss a head. And how many possible things could happen? Well, I could get a head or I could get tail. So there's two possible things that could happen. So the possibility of tossing a head is one out of two. The probability of tossing a tail is the same. Okay, one would make me win. There's only one outcome that would make me win, but there's two possible outcomes. Now, if you look, right, this is the last thing. This is very important for your notebook as well. Okay, if you have, how many possible outcomes for, are there for tossing a coin? Well, there's heads and there's tails. Okay, the probability of a head is a half. The probability of tails is a half. And if you add them, you get one. So there's a rule. Okay, this is an important note, so you need to highlight this in your notebook too. Okay, the probabilities, or sorry, yeah, the probability of all possible outcomes, of each outcome added, added together, okay, always gives one. Right. So, when you add, if you take all the different possible outcomes, add their probabilities, you get one. That always happens. So, let's have a look at another one. So, if you roll a dice, what is the probability of rolling a six? So, again, we're going to write probability of a six. Remember to write it, write it like the way I'm showing you. So now, if I want to roll a six... How many ways could I win? Well, let's look at how many things could come out in total. I could get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, so there's 6 possibilities. And how many of those probabilities would mean I win, or how many of those possibilities? The only one that would make me victorious is if I roll a 6, which is one possibility. There's one way I can get a 6. That's if I roll a 6. What about this way? Now let's see the way you think about this. Probability of a 2 or a 5. So again, I'm rolling a dice, so there's six possible outcomes. I'm just going to shorten that up a little bit. Rolling a dice, six outcomes. Now, how many of those outcomes are good for me? It's good if I roll a two. It's also good if I roll a five. So two outcomes are good for me. 
two good outcomes, so two six, which means the probability is one over three. So the probability of me rolling a two or a five is one third. Because a two is a success and a five is a success. What is the probability of rolling an odd number? Probability of rolling an odd number. Okay. So again, you're rolling a dice. So you've got six possible outcomes. How many of those are good for me? It's good for me if I roll a one, a three, or a five. So three good outcomes. Okay. Which reduces to a half. So the probability of rolling an odd number is a half. Now, back to what I was saying earlier. If you roll a six, sorry, if you roll a dice, there's six possible outcomes. So what's the probability of rolling a one? It's one-sixth. The probability of rolling a two is one-sixth. Three, one-sixth, and so on. So the probability of rolling each one is one-sixth. You add them all up and you get one. Okay, so like we said in the last example, you add up the probabilities of all the different possible outcomes, you get one. So, we're going to have to familiarise ourselves with cards, so hopefully this is something we can do over the coming days. So what we need to know about cards, each deck has, let's write it up here, 52 cards. And we're going to talk about what each type of card is in class, so you should have an idea. So, what is the probability of picking a king? So P for probability, K for king. If I pick a card from a deck, how many possible cards could I pick? Well, it's 52 possible outcomes. And how many of those are good for us? Well, it's good for us if I pick a king. And there are four kings in the deck. So it's 4 over 52, which reduces to 1 over 13. So there's a 1 in 13 chance of picking a king. Okay, next one. What's the probability of a 5 or an ace? So I'm picking a card from a deck. There's 52 cards, so there's 52 possible outcomes. How many of those are good for me? Well, if I pick a 5, it's good. If I pick an ace, it's good. So there's four fives and there's four aces. So there's eight cards in the deck, which would mean success for me. So that's going to be 8 over 52, and 8 over 52 reduces to 2 over 13. Okay? Because picking a 5 is good. Picking an ace is also good. So if I pick a 5 or an ace, I win. And there's four fives, four aces. So there's eight possible cards that would give me victory. <coughs> okay, so the probability of a P for picture card or a 3. So the picture cards are Jack, Queen, King and Ace. Okay, so for each suit there's 4. There's 4 suits, so there's 16 picture cards. And there's 4 threes. Okay? So, there's 16 possible cards that would give me success. or Sorry, 20 possible cards, because 16 picture cards and four threes. So it gives me 20 over 52, which reduces to 5 over 13. Okay? I think it's pretty straightforward. So we're going to look at another couple of examples. Okay, so a bag of marbles. So contains five red marbles, four blue marbles, three green marbles. Okay, what's the probability of picking a red marble? So if I stick my hand into the bag, how many marbles are there in total that I could pick out? How many possible outcomes are there? Well, there's 20, sorry, there's five, four, nine, and three. There's 12 possible marbles could be selected. Okay, now how many of those marbles would give me success? Yeah, I would win. I have five ways of getting success. There's five possible outcomes that would give me what I want. Five reds. Can't be reduced. Next one. The probability of green. Well, again, I put my hand in. There's 12 possible marbles to pick. So, if I pick a green marble, how many green marbles are there that I could pick? There's three. So, three over 12, a quarter. Now, next one is the probability of blue or green. So remember that picking a blue is a success or picking a green is also a success. Okay? 
So in this case here, again there's 12 possible outcomes for me. I could pick a blue or I could pick a green. So 7 out of 12. Which is more than a half, so there's a good chance that you're going to pick a blue or a green. And now look at the last one. Probability, blue. Sorry, well it's blue or red or green. Okay, blue or red or green. Okay. Now if you look at this, right? Again, 12 possible outcomes. We know from the question that there are 5... Sorry, we'll erase that and do them in the correct order. I think it's four blue, three red, no, five red, and three green. Okay? So remember, in this case here, I have success, or I will win, if I pick a blue, or a red, or a green. Okay? So that means there's a total chance of success. I can't fail. If I pick a marble, it has to be one of those colours. So the probability is 12 out of 12, which is 1. Because all those probabilities, like I said earlier, add to 1. Next one. So we have some practice problems for you to look at here. So all these should need to be written. Write the question in and do the answer, okay? And make sure you highlight it and keep your notebook well. So this situation here, what I'm going to do, roll a dice. What is the prob probability of rolling a number greater than 3? So look at how many numbers are there that would mean I would win. And then how many total outcomes are there. What is the probability of rolling a number less than 5? And what is the probability of rolling an even number? Second question. If I select a card at random from a deck, what is the probability of choosing a heart or a club? What is the probability of choosing a 3 or a 10? And what is the probability of choosing an even numbered red card? All right? And one more. A bag contains five red marbles, seven green marbles, three blue marbles, and five black marbles. If I stick my hand into a bag at random, what is the probability of choosing a black marble? What is the probability of choosing a red or a green marble? And what is the probability of choosing a green, a blue, or a black marble? Okay, so there's the questions. Have a go at them.